They were made in the image of our heavenly parents. Each is a beloved spirit, son, or daughter of heavenly parents. And the traits they receive from heavenly mother are equally as important. I just wish of all things I could go up and give heavenly father and heavenly mother a big hug and tell them I made it back. Just think of it. Within every human body dwells a living spirit born to our loving, eternal heavenly parents. Each is a beloved spirit, son, or daughter of heavenly parents, and as such, each has a divine nature and destiny. Soon thereafter, she was released to go home again to her heavenly parents. Each of us is a beloved spirit, son, or daughter of heavenly parents. We're becoming heavenly parents. Jesus was born of heavenly parents in the pre-mortal world. Into the presence of our heavenly parents, there to experience eternal joy and happiness. We inherit the capability of reaching in full maturity the status of our heavenly parents. They can claim their inheritance as children of heavenly parents. So we can live together with our families in the presence of heavenly parents. As spirit sons of heavenly parents, you are free to make the right choices. I am a child of God with a spirit lineage to heavenly parents. The doctrine of the family begins with heavenly parents. The plan teaches that all who have or will live on earth are the spirit children of heavenly parents. We lived with them before coming to this earth to receive our bodies of flesh and bone. Each is a beloved spirit son or daughter of heavenly parents and has a divine nature and destiny. As Latter-day Saints, we firmly believe that we are brothers and sisters, spiritual offspring of heavenly parents, members of a royal family who once dwelt and associated together. Each of you, as we've been taught this conference, is a beloved spirit son or spirit daughter of heavenly parents. It provides us the opportunity to, while walking by faith, prove ourselves worthy to go on to perfection and exaltation in the likeness of our heavenly parents. We are created in the image of our heavenly parents. We are God's spirit children. You have light because you are literally daughters of deity, offspring of exalted parents with a divine nature and an eternal destiny. You received your first lessons in the world of spirits from your heavenly parents. Each is a beloved spirit, son or daughter of heavenly parents. And as such, each has a divine nature and destiny. In the beloved Latter-day Saint hymn, O oh My Father, Eliza R. Snow celebrates in words the continuity of family relationships beyond death and reminds us of a glorious reunion with our heavenly parents. Our theology begins with heavenly parents. Our highest aspiration is to be like them. You are literally a spirit daughter of heavenly parents with a divine nature and an eternal destiny. We serve God and our fellow man in order to become the kind of children who can return to live with our heavenly parents. The anxiety and the disquieting influence of this earth life could all have been avoided if we had stayed nestled in the household of our heavenly parents. Each is a beloved spirit, son and daughter of earth, heavenly parents. Long before leaving our earthly home to serve a full-time mission, we left heavenly parents to fulfill our mortal mission. All our thoughts, words, and actions must elevate us to the level of the divinity of our heavenly parents. Under that plan, we are all heirs of our heavenly parents. We know that we are spirit children of heavenly parents. The gospel teaches us that each individual is a precious and cherished child of heavenly parents.